this video, we'll look at adding embedded help content, aka help center content, into service operations workspace, or and this applies for uh, any configurable workspace. Um, so what we're trying to do here is um, if we go into a workspace here, I'm in uh, service operations workspace, and I go up to the help menu, and I see this SOW home, which I added uh, previously earlier today. Um, I want to be able to add, uh, well, we're going to look at how we added this content. And then I want to add an additional uh, piece of content when we go into the incidents and we go into the uh, all list. Right now, this is empty. I want for an article uh, to appear here. So the first step is to um, create the actual content. So here we can uh, type in help content and under the embedded help um, application menu, we see the help content module. Um, so here is the SOW home uh, that I created earlier. Let's create a new one uh, for the list. Uh, so what I like to do is um, take an existing one that is under mode normal. So for example, this um, AIS search profile normal. Uh, this way we get this uh, nicely uh, ServiceNow style uh, content in here, the, the formatting is in ServiceNow style. So we're going to take this record and we're going to copy it. So what we do is uh, first we have to give it a name. Um, this can be any name, but it has to be unique. Um, so I think it's a good idea to come up with some kind of convention here. Uh, for example, if you're doing uh, a service operations workspace, you can name it SOW and we'll call this list um, all. Uh, or yeah. All. And then the page, uh, same as the name. I think it has to be unique. Um, the page doesn't matter so much for uh, workspace because we use um, a guidance record to link this uh, record with the ServiceNow workspace page. Um, so the page, I usually, if it's for workspace, I just make it the same as the name. Uh, mode is going to be uh, normal. Um, role, I don't think this uh, applies for uh, workspace pages. This is more for uh, the core UI if you want to direct, uh, if you want to <clears throat> lock down content by role. Uh, qualifier is going to be blank. Version is going to be all. Again, I don't think that matters either, but I'm not sure about that uh, for the workspace. Um, okay, so now in the content, we'll give it something. We're going to call this uh, list help. And uh, I don't know, we'll delete this thing. Okay, just keep it simple like that. Delete the rest of this. Okay, so now we click um, copy. Okay, so we have our SOW list all uh, content. Now, the second step is to link this content with the page. Um, so let's go into workspace. OK, and the page we want to link it to is uh, the incidents page and the all uh, the incidents uh, list and the, the all. So uh, the way we do that is we go into guidance. So create guidance. Okay. Uh, and we can put our mode right away to embedded help. Gives us all these other fields. Um, so we're going to call this one uh, list help. Call it list help all. It's going to be embedded help. Here is where you can um, lock this down by roles. So if you only want certain roles to be able to see this help, uh, that's where you can do it here. The application route. Uh, so this is uh, the workspace that you're in. So now slash uh, SOW uh, to get your application um, route. You can actually look in the URL. That's one way to do it. Uh, slash now slash SOW. 
uh, otherwise, you can also go here, go into experiences. And this will give you all of the workspaces and their URL path. So we can see that service operations workspace is SOW, some other common ones, CMDB workspace, CMDB, et cetera. So that's the application route. <clears throat> now the embedded help content. This is what we created uh, before. So SOW list all. Uh, now the context. So the context is the page in Workspace that we want this to apply to. So again, you can check in the URL. Oops, I have to go back to Workspace. Uh, so here's the application path, right? The uh, application route. Now SOW, and then the next thing is the context or the page. This is the home page. We're looking to apply this to the list page. <clears throat> Here, list all. Um, so list home and record are really the three most common ones, but if you have some custom pages, maybe you want that to apply there. So this is going to be a list. Um, ah, now I forgot to mention that the name is the name that appears in the list of uh, contents that shows when you click on the um, when you click on the help. So if we go back to home, and um, here I have one article, SOW Home. So that's the title of the article, and then this subtext is the description of the article. So if we're in here, that article is going to appear as list help all. And then uh, here is my subtext. Uh, this is because multiple, you can have multiple articles for the same page. And uh, just the uh, title and the description are going to show, or the name and the description, I should say. Um, OK, so now another. Um, and actually, while we're here, and before I forget it, is that this description field, out of the box, this description field only shows when you're doing a new record. Once you save the record, there's an, uh, a UI uh, policy that hides the darn thing, uh, so you can't see it anymore. Um, I, I don't want to go there now, because I'm going to, um, we'll, we'll go there in a second. But I, I disabled that uh, so that we can see this description. OK, now the wrap parameters. So this is important because uh, if we go back to the list we wanted to show this on, and we look at the URL. So again, this is our application. Now SOW, list is our uh, context, right? That's the page. And now we have params, uh, list ID, and the sys ID of the list. Right, so we need to be able to tell ServiceNow, hey, I only want this displayed um, on the list when you click on this specific list. So the way you do that is with this um, wrap parameters field. Uh, another way to see your wrap parameters is actually to go to UI Builder, oops, because we're looking for optional parameters. So UI Builder, and we go to our workspace, and then we go to our page. So that's list. And then inside the list page, we go edit optional parameters. So here we can see the three optional parameters, list ID, config ID, and tiny ID. Uh, list ID is the one we want to uh, specify in here. So as with, um, I think this is the case for UI Builder across the board, instead of being list dash ID like it is in the URL, it is list uh, capital ID. All right, if we go back to the URL, we say, right, it's list dash ID. So that's a little difference that could uh, cost you a few hours, like it did for me, I think, uh, when I did this. OK, so we'll go back to our guidance record. And in our route parameters, uh, I just uh, copied this, pasted this from elsewhere. <clears throat> so params. And then list ID is this sys ID. <clears throat> 
So again, here, params, right, is the list ID is the first parameter, and that's the list ID that we're trying to get. Um, okay, so we should be good. Let's uh, submit this. Whoops, it's still in draft. So go back. And list help all. Okay, we're in draft C. So I'm showing description because I mentioned this earlier. If we go into UI policies, <clears throat> there is this one here, show a field specific related to guided setup. And um, it reverses this if false and uh, hides the description field. So I just deactivated that because sometimes you want to go and change the description later. Um, okay, so I said we wanted to publish this. Okay, uh, now I'll go back to my workspace and I'll refresh. And now we see our list help all. Here's the description, which is just the uh, little subtext. And if I go in here, this is where I see the actual content from the um, help content record that we created in the beginning. Um, so this will apply to the um, all and now if i go to a different list this is not here because we specified in the let's go back here we specified in the guidance record that it would only apply to um all of the uh, i'm sorry to the all list if i got rid of this it's now going to apply to all lists incidents and everywhere, which in most cases I think you probably don't want. But just to show you how this works, right? List help all, it's there. If I go to open requests, it's still there. It's everywhere. So that uh, list parameters or that route parameters rather is important because again, you can target your help content just to specific parts of the uh, or specific uh, yeah, parts of the workspace. Um, okay, so that's it. That's how adding embedded help content into a uh, workspace. I do have a full article explaining all of this uh, on my blog, incident.do. And uh, so you can have a look at this, and I will link that in the video description.